Wait, y'all. Oh my god, she is amazing. Hey BBs, it's Plastic and today I'm back to y'all for another video. Today's video, I really just wanted to sit down in Google Chat and dress some dolls because I have these dolls that I just cleaned and you can see how I clean them in tomorrow's video, I think, if this gets uploaded. Um, so I guess, hi. Um, and I just really want to talk about some of my like favorite things right now about dolls um, and just ghoul chat because I feel like I haven't just ghoul ch chatted with you guys in a minute. Um, and it'll be fun. It'll be fierce because I'm really, really right now into Generation 3, which I guess we could start off with Torlai because I boiled these two dolls last night and they look so good. The hair. <gasps> I love when Monster High dolls have hair like this. It's just like so nice and so like soft and I have this little brush. And like look at how it just like flows so nicely. Um, I'm really just obsessed with it. Like I just love nice saran hair that you can like touch and doesn't feel like horse hair. Ugh. But I'm really in a generation three right now. I don't know why. It kinda happened last night where I was watching um not a video, but I was watch how do I put this on? I was watching um an episode of like the Generation Three, um kind of like what is it? Like the um like the episodes on Nickelodeon and I was really just like oh my god I missed this show and I saw someone have like these like new plushies also like they like talk and stuff and I need those plushies so beyond badly right now I'm also kind of missing like let me get closer because I feel like I can't talk to y'all I haven't like gotten a new Monster High Generation 3 doll in what feels like forever like I know it's only been since like January but I really want Skultimate series like really bad right now but they're not out yet, so, like, I can't, like, buy them. But I would do a lot of things to, like, get that, like, Claudine and Draculaura. I don't want to pay the 10 extra dollars, though, because I am, like, lazy. And I've actually bought from Palmer before. Like, I bought this Torlai from Palmer because my Walmart order, when I ordered her on Walmart, it got canceled. Like, I, because, like, she kept selling out at Walmart. Right now, she's, like, flooded out my Walmart. Like, my local Walmart has so many of this Torlai. But, like, online, when these first came out, Torlai was, like, so hard to get because it's, like, a Walmart exclusive. Like, Walmart doesn't care. Um, but I was just so happy that I finally found her on Walmart. So, I paid, like, five extra dollars or something. Or I think she was, like, $20, $33 instead of, like, 24 But it included taxes. So, it was actually cheaper than my Walmart order because my Walmart order was, like, $5. Or $5, like, it was, like, 35 for her because, like, the shipping or whatever, but I was just so happy to, like, get this doll, but I don't want to buy her on, like, Palmart, because, like, the new ones that I was talking about earlier, like, the, um, the Skultimate Secret ones, because I am so scared of those faces just being awful. I guess it doesn't really matter, because I got her. I've been pretty lucky, knock on wood right now, though, I've been pretty lucky with the Generation 3 faces so far. Like, I haven't really gotten anyone. I mean, the only one that's, like, really, really wonky is my fear-leading Draculaura, but I feel like I don't mind it anymore because, like, I have two of her. So, like, I have one with, like, nice eyes and I have one with, like, weird, like, little bulgy eyes. So, it's not, like, that bad. But, like, I hope they're doing better for this Ultimate series. I've seen a lot of funky Lagunas, which is scaring me because I do want two Lagunas probably from that line. Um, which probably isn't smart. But, like, when she was on a sale, maybe I'll get two. I don't hate this Torlai. I was, I made a ranking video a couple days ago where I was like, I hate this Torlai. But she's, like, kind of pretty right now. I don't know, I really, like, vibe with her. And I, her on the show is really annoying. I really want her to have, like, a redemption arc or something. Maybe when she gets her, like, sisters, she'll be better. But right now, she just kind of irks me. But, like, look at how cute she is. Aw. I really do like Generation 3, and I hope they come back with episodes. I really want to see a movie from them, like, an animated movie. I know we got the live action, but um, I really want to see, like, them, like, do their thing and, like, have an, an like, a, you know, a G1 animation movie. But, like, in G3 style and G3 storyline, wouldn't that be so fun and cute? Like, I would actually be obsessed with it. Like, I don't know. And I've just been, like, really, like, craving a Generation 3 doll. And I was going to buy, like, another Draculaura. Because, like, I don't know. Like, I really want two of the core dolls. Like, and, like, she's $20 right now. Which isn't bad or anything. But, like, she was she wouldn't be in stock. Like, I wouldn't be able to buy her until literally, like, March. Like, she wouldn't come to my house. And it's February for right now. Um, so, she would literally take, like a whole month to come here which is like kind of crazy because it's like i don't know and also draculaura i don't know if this is for you guys or not but my generation three draculauras have not been at any of my walmarts or targets like when i went to walmart the other day like last week 
I found the Generation 3 dolls, which I haven't found any Generation 3 dolls in store since, like, December, which is really crazy. But it was February, because I guess, I don't know if they're selling well or if, like, what's happening, but they haven't been in really any stores. Like, the only ones that I've seen was coffee, like, the coffee bean playset. And I've seen some Claudines here and there, but I haven't seen, like, a lot of them. And I went doll hunting, and I found, like, Torlai, Laguna, Frankie, Cleo, Claudine, I think, at Wine Walmart. And I was so shocked to see them. And they had no Draculaura, they had, uh, obviously they had no Ghoulia, but it was just crazy. I oh, know, actually, I have seen the um, Creep River dolls, I just forgot about that. But, like, the core dolls, I haven't seen the core dolls in a minute, so, I don't know. But, like, look at how pretty her hair is. Like, it's so, like, nice and so soft. I hope they start using Saran um, with their Monster High dolls soon. I don't know where my comb went, I think I'm sitting on it, but, like, look at her. Maybe I'll, should I, like, put her hair back, maybe? I don't, I don't know. I'll think of if I want to style this or not, but, like, it's so, like, silky and soft. Oh, my God. I love boiling washing. Um, but I don't know. I also have this Generation 1, um, Draculaura from the Dot Dead Gorgeous line, and I really did not like this doll, but I boiled her hair down instead of, like, in that little, like, shrimp ponytail, which I hate ponytails if they're not going to have a lot of hair. Don't do a ponytail if the doll has this much hair on its head. And it just makes, like, what are you doing? Like, if it's a sports doll... I can maybe get past it, but I really, if you're doing a ponytail, do it with a long, luscious hair, right? Like, I don't know, like, but I like her now. My point of that was I like her now that her hair is boiled down, and I like that Dracula has, like, an all-black color scheme, because, like, she's a ponytail doll, so they didn't have to put pink in all of her hair, because, like, only this part's gonna show. But, like, look at how pretty she is with, like, just, like, the black mostly in her hair. Like, I love it. I also want to see a Dracula with mostly pink in her hair. Um, which we kind of get to see with Generation 3's Sculptimate series season 2, which is another line that I'm really anticipating. I'm just confused, like, where the distribution is for them, because I want them so beyond badly. Like, I don't think y'all understand. Like, I just want, like, a new, like, Laguna Generation 3 doll, because I only have, I have, like, a couple of her core dolls, but that's, like, wait, I have one, two, uh, one in box, so that doesn't really count as a doll. Um, I have one redressed, one in the second outfit, and one in the first outfit, but I want another Laguna, just, like, in a cute little, like, different outfit, I don't know, I'm just really excited about it, because it's been a minute, I feel like, because I haven't, ooh, these earrings are annoying, also, how do we feel about Generation 1 right now, because I feel like a lot of people aren't, like, vibing with them as much as they are the older ones, or, like, the newer ones, because that Frankie, as of right now, has, like, the new Honka Tour Masquerade one, has been in stock for about, like, a week now, a week and a couple days, because it's Sunday, I th is it Sunday? I think it's Sunday, and they haven't been, like, no one's bought them, like, that doll has not been sold out yet, which is kind of crazy to me, because usually the Monster High, like, the collector ones get sold out like that, but they've been in stock for, like, a week, so I'm kind of confused, like, even, like, with bots and everything, like, they're just not gone, which is, like, really interesting to me like I wonder if like the whole community as a whole right now is just not into generation one or if they're just like upset with like the because they haven't really been promoting g3 yet um like as they have been g1 I'm just gonna like look at this ah, I'm so happy <gasps> like isn't she so pretty now like she just has like hair in her face and she's like a girl like look at that <gasps> I love saran hair saran hair needs to be studied I also have though um can we all, they're gonna sit down, um, I also have Lyric Lucas somewhere, um, I brought her out, because I did, um, straighten her hair last night, because, um, did she fall on the floor? Oh no, she's under this bag of brass clothes, which I might redress her as well, because the only thing that I have her in right now is this Rainbow High, um, no photo shirt from that big locker thing, and it's cute, it's very rock and roll, but now I gave her this more, like, Kind of like, I don't know. Like the hair, I crimped it, um, like I guess a year ago now, because I really didn't like this doll. But ooh, she needs a comb. Where is the comb? And I straightened it last night because I was just kind of like bored of it. Like it just didn't like work, and it's still like kind of crimped here. Like it's not like the straightening didn't do it like the best, and it's still a little bit wavy at some places. But I kind of don't mind that because like I want her to be like a little bit more like most seen. I know she's not gonna be seen because like there's no like real seen clothes in Rainbow High unless you like mash things together which I'm bad at um but I kind of like like that vibe and I did a bunch of braids in her hair and I kind of want to put more in because I love the idea of like a bunch of hair and then like a couple of braids like isn't that so cute it's like 2000s or whatever um but I might just put her in like her regular clothes but, like 
If you guys collect Rainbow High, do you also have the problem of literally so much clothing? This is only one out of like three places that I store my Rainbow High clothes. And it's, there's so much of it. And a lot of it's ugly. So I don't know if I want to sell it, but also like I'm a completionist, I feel like with my Rainbow High dolls. So like if I sell it, I'll be like, well, I have, I like my Leela is not complete right now because she doesn't have, um, I guess Leela is a bad example because all of her clothes are pretty good. Um, let's see, okay, like, if I didn't have, like, my ruby, like, her little pants, I would probably, be, like, subconscious be like, well, my ruby's not complete, therefore she's not, like, a great part of my collection. When, like, these pants are so fugly and I'll never use them ever in my life, but what if I need them? You know what I mean? I feel like that's kind of, like, the worst mindset to be, like, her clothes are so ugly now that I think about it, like, who is wearing any of this? I just hate the hype beast fashion, and I'm really happy that Rainbow High right now has kind of been going away from it, because, like, Look what we can do without, like, gorgeous hype beast fashion. Like, we can do, like, gorgeous dolls like Delilah. Again, another doll that I just kind of redid, and she's so pretty. The hair is also giving. I love that Nylon can honestly hold a curl like this, because Saran cannot hold curls for her life. Like, Saran is just awful. Like, it's so bouncy, and it's so pretty, and it's so, like, lovely. I don't know. I'm just kind of obsessed with Nylon right now as well. Like, I feel like Nylon is so nice. Oh, and, like, look at this doll. Like, I'm going to start braiding her hair later. I'll probably go live and do that. But, like, look at how gross this hair is compared to, like... I guess I'll even give... I'll do I'll do some justice. Like, look at that. And I'm, like, doing them... The, I'll do them in the same hand so y'all don't think I'm crazy. Like, maybe I was... But, like, see how much this swings more? And, like, I don't know why, but, like, the swing test with hair is, like, really what gets it. Like... Like, it swings, but it, like, it's stiff a little bit to me. I don't, and this hair is just, like, disgusting. I hate this doll so much. But I started giving her micro braids because I don't have a Claudina over here with micro braids. They're all over there. But, um, her with micro braids are so much prettier than this, like, sad hair. Um, I did get, I actually do have two of the, um, Ghoul Spirit Claudines in this one. I fixed her hair up really nicely. I had to cut it, though. So, like, all the dead ends were gone. But, like, it feels nicer. Like, it doesn't swing as nice. I, I mean, it looks a little bit better. Wait. And I'm trying. I guess they kind of swing the same. I just really love how this swings. That's, like, so weird. But, like, it just, like, feels... It still feels dry a little bit compared to that. Like, and it's even, like, this Frankie's hair who... Like, it swings nice, I guess. I wish this Frankie had flock pepper. I don't even know what I'm talking about now. Back to this doll, um, I've also been in a really big Rainbow High crave right now, like, it's been, like, I don't have room for them, like, it's been, I also got, ooh, let me show y'all this, I got Michelle a couple days ago, and she looks a little bit busted, because she's been on my windowsill, because I just, like, play with her, like, I love, like, just, like, looking at this doll, and, like, staring at her eyes, because she's so beyond pretty, but, um, I've been really into Rainbow High right now, ooh, like, look at them, they're orange besties. <sighs> I've been really into Rainbow High, though, right now, because, like, I don't know, like, I don't, like, they're not, like, promoting anything, like, the only thing, oh, I found the comb, the only thing that, like, they kind of have going out right now is, um, like, they have, like, dolls coming out, but they don't have the show, and for some reason, I've just been, like, into them more without the show, like, I know that's, like, stupid, but, like, because I feel like the show is just such a big disappointment to me, like, they don't really do anything with it, but I feel like I like to just have the dolls and, like, make my own thing with it, because, like, I like to have my own head cannons, I feel like, because, it's just more fun because sometimes the show just bores me a lot. Like, it's not as interesting as, like, it could be. Like, especially with, like, other shows like Monster High. I know Monster High hasn't aired since, like, literally December. It's been, like, a couple months now. It's almost been two months. And they haven't really aired a show yet. Um, I think it's gonna be two months. I think it's been two months because it's... Is it the 19th today? I think it's the 19th today. So it's actually been two months. The last episode we got was the winter episode on the 19th of December, which is actually insane to me that we haven't got a new episode in two months. Um, and that's what really upsets me about the Monster High brand right now is because we are not promoting the dolls or the show like we could be. So I'm, like, upset because I don't want, like, the sales to go bad. And, like, I don't... Like, they haven't had any reruns, apparently, which I don't know if that's true or not. I've just heard that on Twitter. But if they haven't had any reruns and, like, they're not putting out new episodes, I'm not excited to see what's going to happen this year because they have so many good releases that were lined up that we've seen, like, leaks of and stuff. I'm not... Stock photos. I'm not going to say they're leaks, because stock photos are not leaks, y'all. Um, but, like, we've seen so many new dolls that all look so gorgeous, and I want them to get, like, the love that they deserve, because even, like, I've noticed, again, the core dolls have not been selling, like, 
in stores. Like, like they have Creepover out right now. Who wants Creepover? I mean, like, I guess Creepover is fine. It's cute. But it's not, like, the core dolls are much better. I personally would rather spend $25 on a core doll than a Creepover doll. Like, I have them both. And I like them both in my collection. But I just think the core dolls are so much fun. Like, they, they have more personality with them, I think. I know that's, like, like very, like, personal or whatever. But, um, I don't know. I just think they're better. Like, duh. Like, they're just, like, this sh like, they're also, like, the outfits that you're gonna see in the show. Um, not in the show. Like, the outfits that, like, re resemble, like, more casual outfits, I guess. And I feel like if I was a kid, I'd rather, again, have a casual outfit than a slumber party outfit. But that's also maybe a lie, because I really do love my dead tired doll. I don't know. Um, that was, like, a weird... I don't know. I just want the core dolls to be on shelves so I can buy... Um, multiple of them on clearance because I'm scared that they're not gonna be on shelves. They're not gonna clearance out. Like I want, like a Dracula for like ten dollars. I want another Frankie for ten dollars. Like I don't want to spend another twenty four dollars to have them in box and to, like another one to restyle. Um, because then like there's so many other dolls coming out this year that like spending money on doubles is like kind of stupid unless it's like a flea market find or whatever. But I don't know. I just really want like another Dracula because that Dracula doll is so pretty and I want to like cut her bangs or something like i want to give her like straight bangs even though i do like the v bangs can we talk about the indonesia version of draculaura because she's really ugly to me i don't like that draculaura at all but um like this is i honestly kind of give up on lyric because i really don't like hate lyric or anything she just like kind of bores me a lot of the times like she just kind of like does her own thing like she just exists in my collection but she's kind of cute here i think I had sunglasses for her, but I don't know where they went. Back to Rainbow High, though, because that's what I was talking about. I've been in a really bad Rainbow High haze right now. Like, I bought Lily Chang, which isn't, like, a bad thing. But, like, Lily Chang was, like, expensive. So, it's, like, I shouldn't have probably bought her. But I really love her. Like, she just sits on my desk right now because, like, I don't have a spot for her. Because that's my issue is I have so many Rainbow High dolls. And they're all, like, really big dolls. That's, like, if I have 80 Bratz dolls, like, whatever, they can just shove them in a corner. And then, like, small... Rainbow High dolls are big. They have big stands. They have big heads. They have big, like, proportions and stuff. So, like, the more that I get, the less room that I have, which is really hard because I want every Rainbow High doll, like, or as of right now, like, my right now, my Rainbow High era is in. Um, some dolls that are out, I guess, is, like, OMG and, like, Bratz. I haven't bought either of those dolls probably since... I bought an OMG doll last weekend, but <laughs> I haven't bought, like... I don't think I've bought a Bratz since December. Is that true? The last one that I can really remember having is Nevra from the series 2 dolls. That feels so wrong, though. I haven't bought the new Colt Gaia dolls because they haven't gone on a sale good enough. They don't have the Pretty and Punk reproductions out yet. I got Girls I Know. I have not bought a bra and I don't buy vintage ones because they're so expensive and you get like one outfit for like $25 and it's like... I've done that with my Forever Diamonds dolls where I bought each of them for like $25, um, Chloe and Yasmin. I think I bought Jade for 10, but, um, I just, I, and I got Katya for 20. I think I got Vanessa for 30, but, um, that kind of tangent, like, I have not bought a Bratz doll in a minute, and I really want to get a new one someday, because I love Bratz, but, like, I'm not into them right now, like, I am Rainbow High. I think the reason I'm really just into Rainbow High right now is because of how accessible they are, and how every line is just getting better than the last one, like, we got, I got costume ball recently, I guess for Christmas, and I just bought Robin from a friend on Twitter, and those dolls are stunning, I'm just, like, looking at them and, like, gazing, like, I need them, they don't have a shelf space right now, so, like, they're kind of, like, homeless in my collection, and I feel really bad about that, because they're just so pretty and stunning, and, like, they're just kind of, like, there, they're, like, by my OMG dolls, which, no shade to OMG dolls, they're just not as interesting as they used to be, um, but I really do miss when they had, like, the hype and everything, I love OMG dolls so much, but, like, they're just not, like, my favorite thing right now. What is on my face? This is a shadow. But, um, I don't know. I really wish OMG dolls would be more popping. I think I'll get into them more in springtime when they have, like, their, like, holiday clearance. Because I would like fashion show a lot. But, like, they're not, like, on sale or anything. Like, the best sale that I've seen was $16 for Lady Braids, who I bought. But, like, I'm not gonna pay $20 for them. Because I know they'll go down to, like, 15 or something in, like, the summertime or whatever. Um, and I also don't like them as much. I like La Rose. But the rest are kind of bad. Um... I don't know. But I'm in a rainbow high because the designs keep getting better. That's what I meant to talk about. Um, Shadow High Series 2 is probably the best line they've ever had, like, period. I like all the dolls. I haven't bought Rex yet because I don't want to, like, what am I going to do with a boy doll? I don't know. Um, I do want to buy Rex in the future someday. Like, look at how cute she is, actually. Maybe I'll give her, like, a jacket. Do you think she'd be cute with, like, a jacket, maybe? I gave her her other jacket to my redress Torlai. 
I'm gonna try this on there. But um, my other point was that um, Rainbow High has just been getting better. I don't know if I like Series Five as much as I like Shadow High Series Two. To be honest, I think they're just kind of not they're not boring because they're definitely not boring at all. But they're just not as like exciting to look at. Um, because I like dolls that are like I know it's like duh like I like the Monster High I like the brass I like the dolls that don't look like real people all the time and I feel like a lot of the new ones like look kind of look like real people Michelle doesn't look like a like I, she does look like a real person but like not as much as like Victoria or like Priscilla um or even Kim I actually really like Kim though I really want to get Kim so Kim is not included in this conversation um but I feel like the lineup for Rainbow High Series Five isn't as strong I think a lot of the hype right now is just because like they're new dolls. But I feel like they're gonna like age, not age badly, but like not age like as nicely as like Shadow High Series Two will. That's my point. Um, but some of the Rainbow High. Oh, this is not good. Bye. Um, this is such an awkward length because it's like the boot. Like it would be cute if it wasn't like on her, and it's just a lot of bo no. But um, do I have any like thing I can give her? Maybe like a a sh no. This is too not. Wait, maybe. No, I wanted to have something more to her though, because I feel like she's just kind of like in like a t-shirt and like boots, which is cute, but like she could be better. I hate re like I like resiling dolls, but it's always such a mess because like I don't know. I feel like I'm not good at it. I don't think I feel like everyone. Ooh, would these be good? No, that's too bright. Um, but I don't know. I'm like sometimes Rainbow Highlines kind of age poorly, like in comparison to other dolls. Like I feel like there's no hype for Series Three at all ever. Like, there is, or even Series 4, to be honest, like, there is now. Because I feel like everyone just, like, buys the dolls, and then they, like, they forget about them. Like, they buy, like, they buy whatever. Like, they'll buy Michelle, and then once the new one comes out, they'll forget about it. Like, that's kind of what happened with Shadow High Series 2. And I feel like that kind of happens with, like, I do that a lot, because I don't see all my dolls, to be honest. Like, I, like, a lot of my dolls are just kind of, like, behind each other, which is, like, not my ideal situation. But, like, obviously, like, I have a lot of dolls. I don't have that much room. Like, that's kind of what has to happen. But with that, um, I feel like I just forget a lot of dolls a lot of the time, which I'm really upset about because I, I love looking at my dolls. Um, but I'm also not going to stop buying them. Like, duh. Um, ooh, maybe I can give her a belt. Ainsley, this belt is being sacrificed. Would this be cute? Maybe. I'm going to try it on her. I don't remember what I was talking about, but I feel like I'm just like, sad that like dolls have kind of just became like the fast fashion item where they like get bought when they're new. And then they, like, get discarded once there's a new one. Like, there's a new trend or whatever. And that's not always true, I don't think. Like, I feel like a lot of people are... Like, this doesn't look good. No. I'm just doing anything right now with this doll. Um, I'm probably not gonna actually put her on anything. I just wanna try things on. And I do have more clothes. Like, I have my good Rainbow High clothes on my racks and in my closet. But, like, they're so far away and I'm sitting down. Um, but this is a really nice piece. But, like, this Ainsley skirt. Like, that's... I wish it wasn't gold, though. Because I don't, like... I like silver better, personally, and there's so many, there's so little dolls that I feel like fit with a good gold color scheme, um, but this is a really nice piece, and I've also seen Ainsley for $15 at my Walmart, or my, not my Walmart, but like another Walmart, um, in my area, and I was like really tempted to buy another one, but like, what am I gonna do with like a second Ainsley, like, she's cool, and like her clothing pieces are fine, but like, what am I gonna do with another one of her, maybe I'll go back and get, I don't know. Like, that's my thing, is, like, I don't know, like, I feel like Rainbow High Dolls and, like, Specific have just kind of become this, like, fast fashion item where, like, you know, the new one comes out and everyone, like, forgets about the old ones and stuff. And that's not always true, again, obviously, but, like, that's kind of, like, what I'm doing right now is, like, I really want to buy the rest of Series 5 just because, like, I really like Kim. I love seeing people, like, open them, but also, like, what am I going to do with, like, Pr Pr Priscilla is her name? Like, I, she's fine, but, like, she's not, like, a standout doll in my collection where, like, I feel like I need her right now. Um, so I just wish the sales would happen faster, to be honest. But it's also, like, I waited, like, I wait seasons, I guess, to buy my dolls. Like, it'll be, like, the dolls will come out in springtime and I'll buy them, like, end of summer, early fall. Like, that's kind of what happens. And, like, I feel like that happened with, like, Shadow High and, like, I felt, like, really sad to buy them in, like, that, like September when they came out in, like, March. No, April did they come out in? Maybe it was March. I don't remember when Shadow High Series 1 came out, but I really kind of wish I, like, low-key bought them when they first came out because I like them now, but I feel like I, like, it would have been so cool to, like, have one, like, when everyone was, like, having them. I don't know. That's kind of, like, stupid to say, but, like, it happens. I don't know what I'm talking about. Look at this Kaya Hart jacket. It's actually really cute, but it doesn't fit on my Rainbow High Dolls. Like, it's too short, I feel like. 
for the, or like it's too long. It's just like a weird length, I feel like. I don't know. I'm done redressing my dolls. I'll show you guys them, I guess, now because um, they were so fun to just dress. I love dressing dolls. And like, look at, I, I can't get over her hair. She's so pretty. Oh, not right now. Um, and her dress fell off. Wait, she's not dressed, y'all. Um, I don't know. Like, look at her. Okay. Um, we also have Toralini, who I've literally shown like 17 times. And I do have my Vanessa, who I have sunglasses for her. I just don't know where they went. They're probably like on my floor and I'll step on them and break them. But like, look at how cute she is. I actually don't hate this doll. I wish she had like longer nails. Um, but she's cute. I wish she also wasn't like white. I feel like the makeup doesn't fit her skin tone at all. And it just looks really like blocky and gross. Oh my, this makeup reminds me of the Elvira Monster High doll for some reason. Where it's just like really blocky and like there. I don't know. But that was really all. I just wanted to talk and ramble and ghoul chat, I guess. Um, Again, lots of dolls coming out. Lots of opinions and stuff. And there's lots of dolls that I want to get. But it'll be flea market season time. So I'll be buying whatever is at the flea market. Hopefully when that time comes around. It's like we have like a month left, right, of it. So it'll be fear. So it'll be fine. But yeah, thank you guys again so much for cool chatting with me today and hanging out. It was so much fun to dress my dolls with you guys. And I hope this video goes out because I don't know if I'll delete it or not. But if it is out, then... Thank you for staying this long and listening to me ramble about nothing. Um, I love you guys also very much, though. Please have a great night, and I can't wait to catch y'all next one. I love you also very much. Goodbye. Bye.